I should have done this a long time ago, but now that we're here, uh, I might as well talk about it. And what this is going to be about is why I started cutting out my videos, my reactions. It's been about three years now since I've started doing reactions. And when I post my videos, there's how many things that happen? Three things? Four things? I'm not sure. The first one is nothing happens. I post it, no problem. The second thing, I get a copyright claim, which is, you know, the the um, whoever created the video that I'm reacting to will put a claim on it, and that's fine, no problem. The second thing, no, that would be the third thing. The third thing is that the video is blocked, like worldwide or in some countries. And the fourth thing, which is, is a copyright strike. So, lately, like I said, I've been posting videos for about three years now, and sometimes I will get a strike. And I'll have to wait three months, six months for it to disappear. At one point, I got two strikes in the space of in that space, so I was holding my breath not to get a third one, or this account will be terminated. And I started thinking about this because doing video reactions reactions is not easy. It's time consuming. Recording it, editing it, and then posting it, all those things take time, okay? And I've been doing it for three years, and I don't want my channel, after all the work that I put in it, I don't want my channel to be deleted, to be terminated, which is why lately I've been cutting my, my reactions, because I've noticed, especially it started when... Um, when I will be reacting to either twice or uh, stray kids, the video will be blocked worldwide. And at first, what I would do is speed up the video, um, mirroring the video. But at first, it was working, and then it wasn't. And then I started cutting the stuff out. Then I realized that after I did that, all was well with the world. There was no copyright claim. There was no blocking it. It was just a clean upload video with no problem. So realizing that cutting the videos out, I was in the clear. I started doing it for all my videos because I do not want to take the chance of getting a strike either now or in the future. As an example, I had reacted to So Young Dream. And it was a while ago. I got a lot of views for it. I got a lot of likes. And it was there for a long time. Until it wasn't. I got a strike for it. You know. <sighs> and that was a live reaction. Usually videos reaction, they either get blocked or um, just the copyright claim stuff and no copyright strikes. But the live performances, those are the ones that are tricky. You never know when you're going to get a strike for it. I got a strike for what? There was a performance, a live performance show from some place, and I got a strike from a, a company. I think it was JTBC. I got a strike for it. So live performances, especially, I'm trying to eliminate that, but a lot of my favorite artists, like So Hyung, Dimash, Question You, their performances are live performances. It's not music videos. So for those, especially, I do not want to take the risk. Like, I don't at all. Which is why I've been cutting those videos out. And at first, 
when I cut those, the things out of it, I delete it and I just post the cut up version of it on YouTube. That's what I was doing at first. But then I started my Patreon and I started thinking, hmm, instead of telling me all those stuff, let me just put the full reaction on my Patreon where it's not going to be censored or anything and just give you guys the link. You can just go there and watch the full reaction. And that's what I've been doing. That's what I've been doing for the last few days, weeks, maybe. So when um, on my latest Dimash reactions, I've seen um, many comments on there about um, Dimash not giving out copyright strikes for his stuff and that it was okay. I read that. I understood it, I got it, but that's now. Who's to say in the future they're not gonna change their mind and start giving out copyright stress for other stuff? You know, I love Dimash. I thoroughly enjoy his performances. And to tell you the truth, editing those videos, cutting them stuff out, it hurts me because I want everyone to see how much I'm enjoying it. But I do it because I have to. And to see some people reacting negatively to it, I understand their point of view. But it's like, you know, it's not a joy for me to, um, like, the time that I take to cut those stuff out, it's not easy. Because I will be watching my stuff react to something, and I'm like, oh, I love this. I want people to see it. But then I can't show them that. You know, I don't like it either, but it's something that I have to do just to make sure that my channel, which I spent three years on, does not get deleted. I've seen channels that I follow, reactors that I follow, that, got the, that have been on this for a long time that got the channel deleted for stuff that they've posted a long time ago. So even as I'm doing this right now, cutting my stuff out, that does not mean that this that channel is not going to get deleted because of the things that I've done previously, you know, of all the full stuff that I posted online. And it's been a lot of videos, thousands of videos doing that. I'm getting emotional talking about this. I love what I watch. K-pop videos, V-pop, whatever comes in front of me that I react to, I love. And I want people to be able to enjoy them with me like I do. And I don't want to cut it. But like I feel but I feel like I have to. Like you guys know, you, maybe you don't, but EXO is my favorite um, K-pop group, boy band. They're about to come out with a new music video. Do you think I, I'm going to enjoy cutting my stuff out? Not letting the, the joy, the excitement that I feel when I watch an EXO music video, not letting it show show it to people. Do you think that I enjoy that? I do not do enjoy cutting those stuff out. Like you don't know, man. When I sit here and go through my reactions, go through it, like you don't know how not stressed, but I don't enjoy doing it. But I feel like I have to. And I just wanted to let you guys know what's going through my mind as I'm doing this. And this is going to be probably the first and last time that I'm going to be talking about this. Is seeing people's comments, I understand it. It hurts me, but I understand it. I understand your point of view. And there's nothing I'm going to do about it because I'm going to keep doing it even though it hurts me I'm going to keep cutting my stuff out I just wanted you guys to know where I'm coming from why I'm doing this 
and if you guys still want to watch my reactions thank you i uh, appreciate you i appreciate all those people that have been with me since the very beginning because i know how i was in the beginning i appreciate that and if you guys are tired of it and you want to go look at elsewhere i understand that as well i just want you guys to know where i'm coming from so <sighs> Thank you guys for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.